In this tutorial, we introduce you to the concept of regulation of blood glucose concentration. Blood glucose is the amount of sugar in our bloodstream. Our cells need a steady supply of glucose to allow them to respire. Without this, they cannot release the energy they need. On the other hand, too much glucose in the blood can damage our tissues. So we need to keep a balance to ensure neither a level that is too high nor too low. The control of concentration of glucose in the blood is a very important part of homeostasis that is maintaining a constant internal environment. This maintenance of the blood glucose concentration in our body is brought about by the pancreas and liver. Scattered throughout the pancreas are special groups of hormone secreting cells called the islets of Langerhans. They have different kinds of cells like beta and alpha cells. Beta cells produce the hormone insulin and alpha cells produces the hormone glucagon. These hormones function in opposite ways but work together to balance our blood sugar levels keeping them in the narrow range that our body requires. Now let us understand how insulin works. When we eat a meal which has a lot of carbohydrates in it, these carbohydrates will be broken down into glucose in the intestine. This glucose is then absorbed into the bloodstream which causes the concentration of glucose in the blood to increase. This increase in the blood glucose signals the pancreas which have a type of cells called beta cell to produce the hormone insulin. This insulin enables the cells throughout our body to absorb glucose from our bloodstream and use it for energy. As the glucose moves into our cells, our blood glucose levels decrease. Insulin also stimulates the conversion of any excess glucose of the blood into an insoluble substance called glycogen. This glycogen is stored in the liver and muscle cells. Finally, the blood glucose concentration decreases and the insulin secretion is reduced, returning the whole system to homeostasis. Now let us understand how glucagon works. Glucagon works to counterbalance the actions of insulin. About 4 to 6 hours after we consume food, the glucose levels in our blood decrease, triggering the pancreas which have another type of cells called alpha cells to produce a hormone called glucagon. Glucagon signals our liver to break down the stored glycogen back into glucose. These liver cells then release the glucose into the bloodstream raising the glucose level in the blood. This glucose is then used by our body cells to produce energy. And finally, the glucagon secretion reduces which brings the system back to homeostasis. This is an example of negative feedback. It helps to keep our blood sugar levels well within the set limits, ensuring that our body has a steady supply of energy, hence maintaining homeostasis.